We are under the lights as the show gets you ready for another edition of Major League Baseball. Ought to be a good one here between the Chicago Cubs and the New York Yankees. The Yankees have won five games in a row. They'll look for number six right after this. Whitey Ford, a left-hander from New York State, is the starter on the mound. Dan Plezak, what's the word on him? Wow, he was awfully good in his last one. A complete game victory. We'll see if he'll be as good in this one as he was in his previous start. Ready to go for the last half go. of the inning. Well, and in steps the Iron Horse, that's, that's Lou Gehrig. Hey, we're Whoa. still in the early stages in this one. Yeah, They're only right. down by a couple of runs. Here we go. But it's really key for this leadoff guy to try to get on and get a big inning started. Lifted the other way out to left center. Left fielder is on the move. He gets to it and makes the catch for the first out. Ready for another chance. Lou Gehrig. Over for one hitter. for him here in this one. Lou Gehrig. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Uh, couldn't quite hold back no that ball. time as the changeup fooled him for strike one. Aye. That's taken. Now it's 0-2. It Let's go. Trust your stuff right here. Let it fly. Oh. Line drive to center field. And that's a base hit. One for two in his first couple of plate appearances. Dan, nice Dan Count goes out the window with this batter right here. It doesn't matter if it's 0-2-2-0. He's locked. He has great bat the ball skills. There are some guys that just have a knack, d of being able to get the barrel of the ball, and this is one of those guys. Digging in for his second at bat. Hannes Wagner. Like That's go. shortstop. Hannes. Wagner. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Pitch outside the throw. And he is out at second. Caught stealing. Digging in now for the Yankees. Lou Gehrig. He singled his last time up. The designated hitter. Lou. First delivery to him on the way. Out in front as this is pulled foul into the seats. Man, the batter's eyes lit up right there. A hanger just a little bit out in front. Couldn't keep it fair. Tried to crush that ball, and now perhaps needs to shorten up with two strikes. High and deep to right center. Going back is the center fielder to the track. And it is gone! Solo shot to right center. Seven home runs for him on the year now, and it's now five to three. I know height sight's 20-20, but you can't throw that pitch to that guy. Don't forget, he homered yesterday, so you know he's locked in and ready to roll up there. We'll see if he learns from that mistake. So striding hey, forward go. now, Lou Gehrig. That, He's two for three and looking for Lou. more here. That last at bat, he didn't crush that changeup for a home run. But listen, a home run is a home run. This guy's awfully strong, and he can hit it out to any part of the ballpark. First offering on its way, and it's fouled away. Five runs, ten hits, and one error on the Yankee line score so far. And he gets him to swing okay. through that one. He's in control 0-2. Hey, watch out. This hitter's got one thing on his mind. <laughs> Protecting on 0-2, so we'll do it again. That was a nasty pitcher's pitch right there. Most guys strike hey, out on that right, one. He was able go, to baby. scramble out a little bit and give him another chance. And hopefully this pitcher misses over the heart of the plate. There's a swing and a drive hit well out to right field. And this one is gone! Oh. 
So it's a three-run shot to straightaway right field. His second home run of the game, and they double him up. It's 8-4. to four. Second home run of the game right there. He is locked in at the plate. You hear so many of today's players talk about rhythm and timing. Well, he is perfectly on time in the heart of the zone. You can just see that the confidence is radiating off of them out there right now. That's six wins in a row, and this looks like a train that's not about to slow down anytime soon. Eight to five tonight. So the Bronx Bombers took the lead in the fourth and held on until the end. Whitey Ford takes the win on the mound, his second of the year, permitting only two hits in six complete innings. So that's a wrap here tonight. For Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, and Heidi Watney, this is Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, find us on Twitter, at MLB The Show. Our final line score tonight. First for the victorious Yankees, eight runs on 11 hits. One error, they left 10 men on base. For the Cubs, five runs, six hits, no errors. They left 12 men on base. Time of the ball game, three hours and 46 minutes.
afternoon baseball here on the show. Today we've got a good matchup in store between the Chicago Cubs and the New York Yankees. The Yanks look for their seventh straight victory next. Cy Young gets the ball for the Yankees in this one. What do you have for us on him, Danny? Hey, man, we're going to get a chance to look at a good veteran pitcher here. This guy's been around the block a few times, but one of the things he does, he still competes at a high level, and he's never stopped trying to learn how to be a good pitcher. Bottom of the inning now, and digging in is the Four veteran D.H., Lou the Gehrig. The hitter, Lou Gehrig. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Turned on down the line. A dive, but he can't get it. It's through into the outfield. Check out the lefty as he absolutely jumps on that first pitch and hammers it to right. Got what he was looking for and put a good swing on it. Digging in, Hannes Wagner. A couple of hits for him and four trips to the plate last night. Hannes Wagner. Here we go now. Come on now. Now the 0-2 pitch. This one's flared off to the right side. Here comes the right fielder. He gets there and makes the play for the first out. So a runner at first with one out now. now. And that here is, is Mr. October, the Reggie fielder. Jackson. Reggie Jackson. Two quick strikes, and now the 0-2. And a fastball swung on and missed as he just reared back there, two away. Well, I have to give credit to him on the mound for not letting that previous pitch get to him. He wanted it, but he didn't get the call. But I love how he didn't let it affect him. And he comes right back with another good pitch and gets the punch out. And he misses here for ball four. Already two walks surrendered in his first couple of innings of work. He did not want to let the hitter off the hook with two outs, and now he's got a runner in scoring position to deal with. Now at the plate, Robinson Cano. Two's all over basement. the place. Two on, Robinson. two out, and of course, here in Cano. inning number two. The pause, and the 0-2. Swing and a miss on the breaking ball, and he sets him down for out number three. Yanks strand a pair. We'll move to the third with no score. So now it'll be the four Here hole hitter, Lou Gehrig, Gehrig. Gehrig, a base hit in his first trip. Hitter, Lou Gehrig. And the pitch. This is pulled into right. And a base hit, so he goes after the first pitch he sees, and he's on to open up Attaboy. the inning. Nice hit right there. Chalk nice up hit. another multi-hit game for this guy. He is absolutely on fire. He's been on a nice hot streak as of late, and I don't see it ending anytime soon. So digging in now, Hannes now Wagner. Batting. So far, Your 0 for stop. 1 with a flyout. Gehrig gets his lead at first, nobody out. On the ground to second base. This could be two. One there. Back to first, but he wasn't able to get enough on the throw, and they'll just get one. Well, he definitely rushed him. Next will be the, the designated hitter, the designated Lou designated Gehrig. Hitter. He steps in off a base hit in his last at bat. Here's the first pitch to him. Line drive to center field. Oh, and this kicks right off of him. Stand up right here. Stand up. So now they'll have runners on the corners with two away. Stepping in, Hannes Wagner. And we'll up see what he can game. do here with a pair of runners Not on base stop. and two gone Hannes. here in the fifth. Two Wagner. runs, seven hits, and no errors for the Yankees so far. And there he goes towards second. In there. Now the throw. And he'll be tagged out at second base. Trying to. Stepping in, Lou Gehrig, as he's got a chance to tie this ball game up with that equalizing run just 90 feet away at third. 
No balls and a strike to count. Well, the Yankees have been searching for that big hit pretty much all game. It remains to see if they can get it, but now it sure would be a good time. Outside for a ball, one and one. Put one in the gap right here, huh? Wait for a good one. Swing and a miss on a pitch outside. One and two now. Birdie right hails from the Prairie State of Illinois. He was a first-round pick back in 2017. Yeah, he has turned himself into a really nice ball round player. Round hard, round hard, you're scoring. And we'll have to you're leave scoring. it there as the play is made. Hey, a great win for these guys as they wrap up another one. But a little bit of a sour note, though. Everyone has to head home. MLB The Show's coverage of Major League Baseball is on the air. A good one on tap for you this afternoon between the Chicago Cubs and the New York Yankees. Interleague Baseball comes your way next. Walter Johnson, a right-hander from Kansas, will be on the mound here. What's your take on him, Dan? Hey, man, this is one of the game's all-time best pitchers. Over 300 career wins, and he's been doing his thing for a long time. It'll be interesting to see if he can continue that solid work in this one today, Matt. Now at the plate, Lou Gehrig. Batting he four. did his part yesterday That's afternoon as he cashed in with three Lou. hits in the losing effort. Gehrig. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Oh, Dan D. Rowe, the Cubs as they take the field here this afternoon. They come in looking to make it two in a row as they were winners last time out. Hey, thanks, Matty. Hey, you know what, D. Rowe? Try to get on a kind of a little mini winning streak here. Losing the first game of this series, winning game two, and hopefully winning this series by pulling one out here today. Yeah, Dan, they were able to shower that first loss off in the first game of this series and had a nice bounce back game yesterday. Let's see if they can steal the series right here. Stay hot right now. Stay hot. Got him swinging. Chased it well out of the zone, and there are two gone. Made pretty quick. Now in the box, the Lou Gehrig. Over for four. one for him here in this one. Lou. First pitch Gehrig. on its way. And he fouls this one off. Hey, have a rip. Like you can't. The 0 1 on its way. Now he spins on one on, here and drives it to deep right field. Gwynn's on the warning track as he hauls it in for a loud out number one. And this throw gets away from him. At the plate, Lou Gehrig. He comes in 0 for 2 Yankees. thus far. This the one doesn't hitter. look good so far. Whoa. Down by a boatload as we enter the Gehrig. middle innings. It's about time they get something going. And the last thing you want to do is fall behind where you have to score a bunch in the 8th and ninth inning. Fouled away. Grounder hit hard down the first baseline. But this will be a foul ball, and it's still 0-2. Fouled off. Here comes another 0-2. A swing and a shot hit down the corner. Nearly a big fly to start the inning instead of foul ball. The next 0 2. And it's fouled away. And 
And he'll try oh. and tempt him with one in the dirt, but he'll hold back here. It's one and two. Come on now. Come on now. Well, time. I think that pitch is the result of a lot of foul balls. He might have tried to do a little bit too much with it, trying to get him to swing through it, but it just ended up taking off on him. In there, a base hit. Dan, after that base hit right there, he's got a six-game hitting streak going. You know what? And this could be this could lead him on to something, some bigger and better things right here. He's been swinging the bat pretty well, and he's been rewarded now, for it, as you talked Good about. Six-game hitting it. streak so far. Wagger. Bunt attempt here as he gets this one down. On the barehanded attempt, gets by him here, and that ought to go as Check a bunt single. See where they're at. Next for New York, it, Reggie right. Jackson. Right fielder, number nine, Reggie. Both teams with Jackson. six hits so far. Hit high in the air. There it goes. See ya. Right fielder looking up. <laughs> Goodbye, home run. So it's a three-run shot to straightaway right field. Home run number three here in the early going. As they pull within one here, it's now a 5-4 game. Well, with no outs, you can afford to give up a single, but you can't afford to give up a three-run homer. He just caught too much of the plate. Now he's back to the drawing board. No outs, and the inning is already an ugly one. Digging in, hey, Lou Gehrig. He's got Number a hit four. in three at bats to this Lou. point. Gehrig. Hey, one time, right now. Hey, see so you didn't drive it here. First offering on its way. And he turns this one around oh, high and deep go, to center go. field. A ball that's carrying. On the warning track, he makes the catch. And they did some damage offensively in this one, enough to get the win, and this man led the charge. He's our top's player of the game. It wasn't a huge offensive day for him. He only had one hit, but he definitely made it count. Put one out of here that ended up being a really important swing of the bat in this one. A close one, 8-7 to seven is how it finishes today. The Yankees came through when it mattered in the ninth on the way to the win. Chris Sale claims the win out of the pen his first. So that just about does it for Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, Heidi Watney, and our entire crew. I'm Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, make your way over to theshownation.com. Our final line score this afternoon. First for the victorious Yankees, eight runs on 12 hits. One error, they left 10 men on base. For the Cubs, seven runs on 10 hits. No errors, they left 16 men on base. Time of the ball game, four hours and nine minutes.